Uh, my name is Tim Ritchie, and Mobile Evolution is the name of the business. And what does it do? Oh, uh, Mobile Evolution is a service provider to uh, mobile network operators, uh, to mobile phone manufacturers, and to ISVs in this space. How do you define success? So we, we've talked about this um, a long time ago, so I've been thinking about this question, and I've tried to think of some super interesting answer, but I, I think when it comes down to it for me, I define success uh, by setting and achieving objectives. So those can be any kind of things. For me, at heart, I'm a sales guy. So I'm about setting revenue or profit objectives and meeting or exceeding those. Where did your inspiration come from? My, so uh, my inspiration for the business or my inspiration for life? Got it. So two, I, I'll answer the question in two ways then. My inspiration for mobile evolution came from an absolute frustration um, with the wireless marketplace as it is today. Wireless technology can be so much more than what it's presenting today. Now we're beginning to catch up since Mobile Evolution was founded, but um, wireless technology is difficult to use. It's not intuitive. Um, it breaks far too easily. Um, the products that have come out don't integrate seamlessly with each other. And the technology exists today for none of that to be a barrier. So Mobile Evolution's purpose was to break those barriers down, to help our client base um, improve their products over time. So um, bring better products to market so that consumers like you and me don't have the barrier of a bad user interface or a kludgy phone or a battery that won't last or GPS that doesn't work when and where we want it to. Um, so that was my inspiration for the business. My inspiration, more broadly than that, um, uh, without going into my whole life story, I was uh, raised by a single mother uh, who really helped me understand what a work ethic was about and what living in integrity is about. And um, she showed me uh, what it means to, to make an effort to set and achieve goals to um, to take care of friends and family. So my life inspiration, I believe, had, had to be my mother. How did you move from idea to something actually succeeding in the market? <laughs> I think there should be a preceding question, uh, that being, is your product or service succeeding in the market? Um, so the, the thing about me is I have entrepreneur in my blood, and I don't frankly know where that's come from. So Mobile Evolution is not my first rodeo. I've, uh, I've done this a number of times, and I've never had the stunning success that every business starts you know, with, a, with a goal of achieving. Um, and uh, and I, I don't know that Mobile Evolution is going to be it uh, either. So, how ultimately would I uh, define success? Uh, I would define it as, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, being satisfied with my effort and the results that those bring. Whether that's, as I mentioned earlier, it, whether that's hitting a revenue target or improving the wireless market space, which was kind of the vision for Mobile Evolution, um, it would have to be, uh, it would have to be one of those things, right? So, uh, if at the end of Mobile Evolution, we had achieved a fundamental positive improvement in the wireless ecosystem, that's what I would have defined as success. How did you organize your team? Yeah. So, um, 
I talked I talked in the in the response to the last question about some core learnings that I I had from this startup experience. Um, a second core learning that I had from the startup uh, experience uh, was that we had a very uh, short runway. Uh, it was uh, personal investment and um, sort of personal sacrifice from my partner and myself to uh, to get this business up and running. And in fact, we did. We were very lucky with some of our early wins, and we got the business up and running and cash flow positive very quickly. But we weren't. We never had a comfortable enough runway um, to really take um, the business big and to develop the team that, that the concept uh, probably deserved. So um, it was a very small team. It was me full-time. It was uh, a couple other employees full-time. Um, but some of the key stakeholders... Uh, because we didn't have funding to pay them uh, a meaningful wage, uh, we couldn't focus on it um, as a team in an office um, with resources, with a runway, uh, the way the concept probably deserved. So, um, you know, when you say how did you organize the, the team, it's a very small team, right, in, in a small team smart startup environment you kind of do whatever has to be done right so you're the janitor and you're the cook and you're the CEO and you're the the attorney in a lot of situations um, so um, probably wasn't probably wasn't a big enough team uh, in this particular situation and that results from not not getting outside funding if you could have, <laughs> if you could have, what would you have done differently? Without a, without a doubt, I, I, uh, I would have gotten funded. Um, the mobile evolution concept is a great concept. It absolutely has legs. What we didn't have was the runway that we needed to get the business off the ground. So. Like I mentioned earlier, we had some we had some early wins that gave us some cash flow. Um, didn't give us a uh, uh, enough to get us through months of long sales cycles with Fortune 500 companies and uh, mobile network operators that take a long time to make decisions um, and big ISVs and and big uh, phone manufacturers. Um, so what I would have done differently, without a doubt. I would have um, I would have taken the concept. I would have shopped it around. I would have gotten funded, uh, and I would have started from a you know as as much as I could have a base of financial strength. What makes a great entrepreneur? <laughs> um, a great entrepreneur needs to be fearless. Um, they need to be kind of dense. Um, uh, in addition to that, um, because I think anybody that's sane wouldn't do it, right? It's uh, it's a it's this really challenging experience to go through, and there is a there's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of heartache, um, and there's the hope of a payoff. Um, and that payoff, even the small wins, because it's your own. Um, is so rewarding. It it um, hopefully balances out the heartache and the hard work and the sleepless nights. Um, so, what does it take to be an entrepreneur? Someone that's probably not that bright. Um, it takes perseverance and um, creativity. So, um, you know what. The flip side to that question is, what doesn't it take? I, I don't think it takes a PhD, a, someone that is, um, you know, a Steve Jobs or a um, Bill Gates, brilliant. You know, I I know a lot of entrepreneurs that um, are bright people, 
but aren't brilliant people and they work their butts off and they've been very successful. Um, so I, I, I honestly believe any person can be an entrepreneur if they have the right mindset. What role did education have in your success? Almost none. Uh, so um, my background, uh, my educational background is I'm a political science major. I, I trained from early on uh, to be an attorney. Decided at the last minute I didn't want to be an attorney. Um, <laughs> but I haven't used my core degree really at all. What it did do is it taught me how to learn, uh, and it taught me how to build arguments and um, how to put uh, case studies together and uh, concepts together. So that's uh, that was that, that's what education did for me. But I, honestly, having done this a number of times now, I've learned more every single time I start a new business than I did in school. What is the most important question that we did not ask you and your answer? I think the most important question that you could have asked that you haven't yet is what does it take to be a successful entrepreneur? And the short answer that I have for you is I'll let you know when I get there. The true answer though is I've been blessed with some success. And I've been blessed with, with some success in some of the businesses that I've run. Uh, and I, I'd say what brought me that success is perseverance. Um, there's going to be great times and tough times, and you have to love. You either have to be totally driven or have to love the game. And for me, I'd love the game. And, you know, I'm, uh, I will do it again. I mean, I just, that's how I'm wired. And it's, I probably could not do it again. Um, so there will be another go around for me. And, and uh, maybe, th maybe this is the perseverance that comes in the way it looks for me. Um, so I keep going until I get one.